What's going on guys? Last regular season episode for the Tank Tucker Road to Glory series, UNC is taking on the Duke Blue Devils, one of their basketball rivals. We're eight and three. It's our last ACC game on the year, and so we want to go get this last victory and then see who we have to go for the bowl game, but we gotta go win this victory bell first. Well, we don't get to finish a year in the snow like I would have hoped, but we're on the road at Duke not too far away from Chapel Hill and so last game of the regular season it's been a long time coming for this day to come Tank Tucker is I've had this series going for a very long time and I've said this before I want to be much better about this come NCAA 13 and as soon as I wrap this series up I want to hurry up and do some jackhammer of course, I don't usually do live commentaries for him. I usually do an edited video with about four games to compile you guys a lot of highlights and just uh, make the season go a little bit quicker. And I haven't been as consistent with that. I focus a lot on my Vikings franchise, and I'm able to do some Tank Tucker Road to Glorious as well. And it's about time for him to be an NFL superstar. And so I'll keep all the videos in the same playlist. And we're already inside the 40-yard line. Marquise Williams back to pass. He'll find the tight end for a first down who takes a shot. But he holds on. Nice catch. Well, this has been a very fun series for me. And I've created a character that hopefully you guys will remember and be long-term subscribers. And we'll see him on Madden 12 shortly. But anyways, it's second and 11. And Tucker doing his best to block, and the pass on the right side is going to fall incomplete. And so, four verticals. This is usually four down ter territory for us when we're in a tie game, nothing in the first half. So, not really worried about it, but I am worried about interceptions. Come on, man, you don't let that happen. Is anybody going to catch him? Oh, clipping. At least that happened. It would have been a touchdown for Duke. That linebacker had some wheels. He was giving her. But Clipping is going to knock them back. And one of our receivers got hurt. And we somehow managed to stop them from scoring. And so let's try to get some points this time. Marquise, he started the season on fire. He was, he looked to be the quarterback that could take us to the national championship, to the promised land. And well... Three losses on the year. It's not like the worst thing that could have happened, but definitely his performance has gotten worse. And Tucker has had to really carry this offense a lot. Speaking of Tucker, he leaves the field. And now we find ourselves back in Duke territory. And we're out of the shotgun. And if I do another running back, I'm definitely going to try to find a school that's going to run more out of under center. This team runs so much out of the shotgun. I don't like it. Second and ten, the handoff is the tank, Tucker. And he is not going to get too far. Maybe two yards on the play. Five for 18 so far. We'll check on his stats to finish off the year and after this game as well. as Is the highest one picked after this? If it is, well, we'll see it. But that pass is going to be batted away. And so UNC will end up punting and Duke does do no, doesn't do anything. And that means we have the ball again, still nothing, nothing. First and ten. Oh, he always throws it to me in the backfield on this play. He always does, and I'm never ready for it, and I never catch it. Uh, that's why I wish I could just tell myself to block sometimes. Play action, right side, he's going deep, and it is incomplete, we'll go to third and ten. Man, Renner, he had a nice deep ball, horrible decision making, it had to be blatantly obvious for him to get it right, and it's kind of transitioning over to Marque Marquise Williams here. Hit the tight end, hit the tight end, not that guy, but hey, if you get the first down, that's all that matters. Sometimes when I play football, I pick the wrong receiver too. And 
Counter left side. Oh, I shouldn't have juked right there. Tucker is barely going to get anything. No gain on the play. Six rushes for 18 yards. This is not going to be his last regular season game performance. It's got to be better. Couple touchdowns on the board. Second and ten. I like Sluggos. I don't like him so much on the game, but I like him in real life. And Tank makes the catch out of the backfield. You saw last episode, I got a catch for 48 yards. This game I have a catch. I'm starting to break my slump. Right at the end of his career. And now Tucker going out for a pass, but the pass goes to the end zone in the corner. Touchdown. Perfect ball placement behind the defense. And UNC takes a 7-0 lead. That was a beautiful throw. That is NFL caliber. Tucker is going to be coming out of the backfield again. Pass on the right side and incomplete. I'm back to my old form. You know what? First half timeouts never get used in video games by people. So I like to use them if I don't like a play or if I want to get my guys un... I want to get my guys like... I don't even know what to say. Rejuvenated. And so they can stay in the game longer and hopefully not put the ball on the ground or make mistakes. It's something I've been trying to incorporate in my game and actually remember because I know it can be helpful. And wow, this Duke defense, they just have it out for Tank Tucker today. I saw the word interception, but UNC scored a touchdown. What is going on here? Okay, Tucker must have gotten hurt. And it's 21 nothing in the third quarter. And we're going to do a mid-screen. He must have been hurt for a short length of time. And the mid-screen was no good because you put Tank Tucker out on the other side rather than in the backfield so I could go hit somebody. Not that I ever actually do. I, I talk about it a lot. Okay, this is what we needed right here. Run him right into the man. And Tucker, 20, 15, 10, 5, 6 points for Tucker. He can take a knee in the end zone. 27 nothing Tar Heels. It is an absolute rout. Only 84 yards on the day, though. We do need a strong game for me to be confident about these Heisman Trophy standings because I don't want to get beat on the last week. We've been first place the entire season. From the preseason rankings till now. I don't want that Alex Newton guy catching me. Oh, nice cut tank. I should have gone off the right side after that. 11 for 95. Triple digits is what I'm aiming for every game. Let's get five yards here, Tank. Fullback leading the way, and Tank takes a shot. Three-yard gain. He will leave the field. Please don't say he's hurt, though. He is not. And with a commanding 28-0 lead, I'm going to put the game into my hands and try to run the ball as much as possible, play for statistics. Oh, boy. I could have easily gotten stopped, and Tucker is too fast. He's got 96 speed. He is just, he's a bullet train. Tucker's got two touchdowns on the day. This is what we needed for a statistical output. As we approach the fourth quarter, it's likely that the backups will get to play the fourth quarter. And, well, Tucker is going to get a tackle as well. Into the fourth quarter we go. Duke scores a touchdown. And continuing to super sim, that is going to be the final. So, a lot of super simming done in this one. A shorter episode, I believe. And the Tar Heels finish the year victorious over Duke. 35-7. And now we'll see where we are in position for a bowl game for the very final episode in the Tank Tucker Road to Glory series. Tucker's final regular season game, he gets 13 carries for 162 yards, 2 rushing touchdowns, 17 yards receiving, and now we will check out his final statistics and if he gets any awards or anything. I believe this is the time where it all happens, so we'll go check that right now. I just simulated the bye week and Tank Tucker is still where he belongs on top of the Heisman watch. I still have to simulate another week before we see who we play in the bowl game. But 
We are 9-3, and three, number 16, and we'll see where we end up. And he did it. Tank Tucker is the Heisman Memorial Trophy winner, best of all time. That's Tank Tucker right there. He is definitely one of the greatest. Add that to the trophy collection along with the Maxwell Award, the Walter Camp Award, and the Doak Walker Award. Tank Tucker is going to have a full trophy case and, well, hopefully we can add on to that when we see who we play in our bowl game and then send him on to the NFL where he can compete for a contract, make some actual money in the NFL, and hopefully capture a Super Bowl title one day. And it looks like we are taking on Notre Dame. This is awesome because... Before I played that last game against Duke, I checked the projected bowl, and we were going to play in the Music City Bowl again against Mid-Tennessee State, who are a 500 team. So we're going to have a great game against Notre Dame, two 9-3 teams, and they're predicted to win. And so, we got to go knock them off. We're essentially the underdog in this game. I'm excited for that game. It's the last episode in the Tank Tucker Road to Glory series. I hope you guys are excited for it and ready for him to get on Madden 12. And so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.